Yeah, I think we finished the before the international break. I think we we do a really good game. I think the team have power, have confidence, and we have a lot of energy to to play these these games. We know it is this month is difficult. We have a lot of game, but we we have a lot of energy to to try to win and and follow this this good way. The team is a little bit irregular. We need to stay more in this form, like the team stay together, and and then we we can see in the games. And I think this is this is the way. And I think. If we stay in, in this level, we can do really good games. Speaking of form and confidence, it's not, it's not going to put you off, I promise. I'm happy. I try to, to help the team when I have, I have the opportunity. And I think the, my teammates help me a lot. I think the, the atmosphere in the, in the dressing room <laughs> is, is really nice. So I think this is, this is very important because then we, we, we fight together and, and the team stay unit in, in the bad moments. All right, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. You've seen the video. Yes, I'm glad you have seen the video and you like it. Let me know from you from the comment section what you think about Mark Kukurela. Like he said in that interview, you heard everything clearly. Let me know what you think about him. Now, in a game against Brighton, coming weekend, he will not be part of it due to the red card he received. Unless, of course, otherwise, something else happened. I don't know whether they are going to appeal it or not, but I don't think that is an appealable decision. So for me personally, I have already ruled him out of the squad for Sunday against Brighton. But you heard it all from him by yourself. A very good morning to you. This is Salon's blog. Welcome in a very special way. Look, for me to go to Chelsea News this morning, for your breakfast, let me quickly, quickly give you some other news you have seen from Kukurela, you heard from Kukurela. Let me give you other news. Then later on, in some hours to come, I'll bring you all the exclusives you need to know about your club, Chelsea. Yeah. And the preparations so far, the preparations we've made so far, today is what, Thursday. We are already in Thursday. You are in your night. I am Thursday morning here, all right? Okay, quickly. In the Champions League last night, the games that were played, let me give you some of the results. In the Champions League result last night, Galatasaray 3, Manchester United 3. Yes, it is what it is. Manchester United fans, we saw how they gave up the lead when they were leading. Manchester United cannot just hold on, they just can't hold on. They just can't hold on. They were leading, they were winning the match. Oh my goodness, Onana, Onana, Andre Onana. Well, 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 45 million pounds goalkeeper. What can I say? I don't want to say much because I'm receiving a lot of attacks from Chelsea fans. Especially when, yesterday when I was in support of Newcastle going to PSG and to grab a point or to win the game against them. They went to PSG. Instead of winning the match, the ref rather won the match for PSG. It was a very sad news. And our own people, my own people, on this channel were not happy with this. Why are you supporting Newcastle? And I said, my dear friend, Chelsea is not in the Champions League. We are not in the Champions League. So I don't see any reason why I cannot support or I will not watch the Champions League. Tell me in the comment section. I want to know from you, you true Chelsea fans. Does it mean that we cannot support any other team that are playing the Champions League? I made my stand clear that PL clubs, Premier League clubs that are in the Champions League, I will lend them my support. And I only spoke of Newcastle that they should go out there and win the game. Unfortunately, they were robbed by the referee. But I received an attack on this same channel. Anyway, my good brother, I'm not angry with you. It's part of the deal. You know, it's part of it. Yeah. We have to take everything that comes out from our fans, our supporters. It's because of people like you. That's why I'm here. So I'm not really angry. I am not angry with you. So Galatasaray 3. Manchester United 3. That is how it ended yesterday. Savila 2. PSV 3. Bayern zero, huh. Copenhagen zero. That match, I was expecting, I was thinking Bayern would just end it, even though they have already, already qualified. Maybe that is why they didn't put in all their best. Bayern Munich had already qualified. Maybe, maybe that is why they were a bit relaxed in the match. Bayern Munich zero, Copenhagen zero. Arsenal six, Lens zero. Six, six, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Arsenal six, Copenhagen zero. Uh, uh, sorry, Lens zero. Arsenal six, Lens zero. Arsenal Lens zero. 
Look, Kai Havertz, well, are you going to say that he's beginning to get his form back? He's beginning to pick up form? Or how are we going to say it? But looking at the game last night, he did quite well. Yeah, he did quite well for us now. Maybe, maybe he's not beginning to you know, rediscover himself. We wish him all the best. Kai Havertz, we wish you all the best in that Arsenal setup. Real Madrid 4. Real Madrid 4. Napoli 2. <laughs> uh, the strength of Real Madrid. Real Madrid 4. Napoli 2. Braga 1. Union Berlin 1. Benfica 3. Inter Milan 3. Real Sociedad 0. Salzburg 0. That is how it ended last night in the Champions League. That is how it ended last night in the Champions League. Yeah. That is how it ended. Now, a little bit of Inter Milan. Sorry. Napoli. Napoli, Chelsea. And you should know where I'm going. There's a news that came up last night regarding Osimen. Osimen stands. It's called Osimen stands. Italian reporter Anna Quilly says Osimen away in January, ADL, <laughs> that's Aurelio Di Lantris, Aurelio Di Laurentiis has already missed a great opportunity to let the Nigerian live for important sums of amount. It will be the second time if Chelsea Ferronic office arrives in January for the Napoli president to reject the second opportunity not to receive the money that Chelsea will offer for, Nap for the striker, Victor Osime, it will be suicidal for Napoli and for the president himself, according to this journalist. Why is he saying this? It, during the summer window, clubs were willing to pay huge amount of money for Osime. The owner says no. They offered him, they gave him an offer. He, he, he refused to sign the offer. Now, if a second offer should come in, let's say from Chelsea in general, which Chelsea are preparing right now, if this same man should reject that offer, it will be suicidal because the young man is not ready to sign a new contract. And if they are not careful, he will end up, Osime will end up leaving the club for free. That is what he tried to say. He said, I don't know if he is replaceable. But I think he could go if there is an offer. In his opinion, the club and the president, ADL, they might let him go in the January window because they will not like to take the risks by rejecting another offer in January. They might not get the same amount for the player again by summer because by summer it will remain about six months from the summer that means that Victor Osimhen, within six months from the summer, he will have the right to negotiate with any club for free. So he can decide to stay. Like how Mbappe issue is right now. He has the right to negotiate with any club. And Napoli wouldn't like to find themselves in that same situation. So it is possible ADL will accept any offer Chelsea will present in a January transfer window. That is how it is right now. And in conclusion, on a bit of a lighter note, on a lighter note, this is what I want to listen from our friend, Carlo Ancelotti, Chelsea's friend. He is one of our friends. He is a family member. Carlo Ancelotti, branding our own Jose Moreno. <laughs> he said, I am Moreno star, Moreno star, Morinist, or whatever we want to call it. He said, I am Morinista and Romanista. Carlo Ancelotti, he says that he is a Morinista and Romanista. Listen to what he said. Former Roma player and current Real Madrid. Current Real Madrid, Carlo Ancelotti, spoke in favor of Jose Moreno's work at the club. In an interview with this sport, Ancelotti praised Moreno and declared himself a hardened Roma fan. And he said, Moreno, Moreno, why not? He is a friend. I was once a captain of Roma. And I have a fantastic memory 
of the time spent in Roma. And he didn't end there. He said, I agree with Moreno when he says that only a madman will leave Real Madrid. I am free. I feel very well. I feel very well here. And we'll see what happens in the future. He says that he feels very well here in Real Madrid. And he will see what happens in the future. That he agrees with Moreno when Moreno says that it is only a madman who leave Real Madrid when he's not being sacked or being pursued. On that note, my dear friend, you know, this is just like for you to have your breakfast. I shall be back with more news exclusively for you. Watch out in the next one. Remember, it's Salon's Block. Like the video, share the video. And let me hear from you in the comment section, especially on Napoli and Osimen issue. Napoli stance and Osimen stance. Let me know from you. I'll see you in the next one when you see me. Shalom and peace.